Hello and welcome back to the second segment that talks about the main layout of the ground level. I apologize for the long earlier video. I really wanted to show you a little bit about how we build it and the same thing here. Um, this is what we do with all of our modular sets. Um, unlike a lot of them that you can find, we like to always furnish them. But we like to do the furnishing in the interior design after the building so you can decide whether you have enough Lego pieces left and whether you have the pieces to actually design it and we do not depend on it by not depending on you doing the inside we don't have to worry about it and again this is one of the things that we like about our written instructions so in this video to get started what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this top piece right here I'm also going to remove this 1x8 plate so I can show you the inside without any obstacles. So, for example, what we have here is as people walk in through the door, they come to an area, for example, you have the information counter. The information counter is nothing more than a couple of 2x2 two two round bricks put, and then these are the computer monitors. This is this is perfectly normal. This is what you would expect to see at a train station, whether it's a touch screen or whether it's a computer monitor showing you the arrival and departures of trains. And then in the back there, you can see we have a bench. We have a clock in the top there. Again, these are these bricks that have the one by uh, that have the knobs sticking out sideways. There you have it. And the sticker that you see here, I'm just going to see if I cannot take it off. This is nothing more than, as we have shown you, um, we Google stickers. For example, in this case, we simply did a Google search for train schedules. We found this one, copied it, photoshopped it to the size, and then we simply printed it out on shipping paper. This is the same label that you use, for example, if you ship something and you print the postage at home. This is what it is. It's just a shipping paper. We glued it onto, we have a lot of these yellow ones. So we simply glued it onto it. That's it. And then it goes right there. And we are done. There you have it. And while I was doing that, I also knocked down the lights so and we fixed that. That is what the sticker is. And the same thing, we have it here. We have it again in the back. And the inside here, let's first talk about this. We talked about the information, the counter right here with the train schedule. Um, then over here we have the ticket area. This is where the employee then would sell the tickets. And all we did was, I'm just going to remove this again. As you can see, everything on the inside is removable. And now you can also see the various base plates. You see the green? and then we have gray we use whatever plates we can find so you don't have to go out and spend money do the same and this counter area is nothing more than a bunch of the dark gray pieces with a couple of computer monitors and the keyboards and then this right here symbolizes the phone there you have it and then in the back there we simply these are standard Lego counters Simply put those in, put another computer up there, or you could have put a coffee machine or whatever it is your heart desires. Doesn't matter. And I seem to be tearing up my station here as I'm talking to you. And um, there you have that. Now, every train station, and this is something that we do with most of our buildings. Every place has to have a restroom. And as stupid as it may sound, if you have a train station or a restaurant and you don't have place for a restroom, well, that's kind of odd. That's something no one has in real life. So as you saw earlier, here is the door that leads to the restroom. In our case, it's from the outside. And again, this is nothing more than a sticker that we found and we printed it and we put it on the door. And then here is the restroom. There is the door. And as you can see here, we moved the whole wall. The wall was built after we built the building. And then we simply added the toilet and the sink and the toilet. In case you're wondering, this is what our idea of a toilet is. You can add whatever pieces you want. If you Google Lego toilets, you can the same with the sink. We use whatever we use. 
Generally speaking, nobody looks in it, nobody cares. It looks like a toilet from the top, and that's what matters to us. And then we simply put it back in place. And of course, my big fat fingers are not going to allow it, so I'll do that later. And then in this area right here, we have the door. This is the door that leads to the office. And in the office, we simply build a little desk there. And then um, we have a couple of cabinets with some flat pieces there. And then that simply goes right there. And then when it's all said and done, after I figured out how to put the toilet back in, the wall simply goes right back on it. There you have it. And to give it a little bit of privacy and a nice look, I built this little roof. This is completely optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want. This is nothing more than a 12 by 8. Um, I used three plates as you can see here. And then secured it at the bottom, secured it at the top here. And then this simply goes in here. So there you have it. You have a ticket counter, which is right here. We talked about it. We talked about the restroom area. We talked about the office. This goes back on it. This is the one by eight plate that also helps secure everything. And there you have your main floor to, for the train station. And um, like I said, we talked about everything else. So when you see these videos now, and you're gonna see the next ones for the top part and the roof, keep in mind, as you can see here, the written instructions want you to do everything, and then they expect you to follow, just as the instructions are. We don't. We only make sure that you know how to build the outside, all the other things, like the lights, because these depend on unique pieces like the one by ones here that have the knobs, we don't rely on them. So you can add them as you see it in the pictures and that is where the pictures come in. You see the pictures, follow them, get an example. If you want to count them to count the pieces or if you want to add the lights, look at the pictures, count the lights, then you know what it is you need to order. But these are not necessary. So now we got the main level start fit completed. What I'm going to do now is we're going to end this video and in the next one I'm going to talk to you. Whoops. Sorry about that. I'm going to talk to you about the upstairs and as you can see here, we don't glue anything cuz we use the same pieces again and again. So in the next video now, I'm going to talk to you about the upstairs here only. This is going to be a short video, so I'll see you again in a little bit.